it's the Deer Wizard, host of North American Deer Talk. You are about to watch a segment from our show. Thank you. To watch all of the episodes in full, you can head over to our YouTube channel, or you can find them at our various social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, or on our website at www.servantsolutions.com. Hope you enjoy. It's own separate thing. So, Sean, here's the question. If you are a deer farmer in a state and you don't understand or know what this cooperative agreement dollar stuff is, how does a deer farmer go about chatting with their state department of agriculture or university or whoever they're going to be working with to apply for these dollars? Walk us through that process on a, on a high level and I'll see if I can drop some just basic info in the show notes for people so they know exactly Perfect. what it is. Great idea. You know, all of us, every state we have that has, you know, that is deer farming is some way, somehow regulated, you know, by their Department of Agriculture. We have a couple states that are strictly under their, you know, their wildlife agency, but they also can apply. But regardless, whoever that person is that you, that you deal with that does your, your yearly inspection, your inventory, your fence inspection, something you get your movement permits from, start with that person to that person that you would like to get involved with this genetic you'd like to start testing your your herd but you know it is expensive you we all know that i mean it's 75 dollars an animal um when you look at what you get you know for that when you send your sample to nadar north american deer registry you are going to get the genetic markers you're going to get genetic breeding value cwd breeding value and the cwd markers and you're also going to get parentage so you're going to know who the mom and dad is of that thing. I mean, and so you're going to get all that, all three of them for that $75, but yeah. it, it is expensive. You do a whole, a whole farm because you should do your entire farm. Now you can break it up in pieces. You can do your, you start doing your, this year's offspring, start doing your best breeder bucks, start doing your best does. But as the years go on, pretty soon you have the whole farm done. So, so you know, tell us about the cooperative agreement dollars. Yeah. So, but back to the dollars, there is federal funding that we got by going to Washington, DC and for this cooperative agreement money that your state can apply for and they will pay them for that testing. Now we've had it, you know, it's, it's a $250,000 cap on it, you know, so depending per, on your state, depending on grant, their per grant per state, per grant per state. Yes. So you got a lot of deer and, and, you know, Initially, when they did some of this, and they they really made the first year or two really complicated as well. They wanted veterinarians to take the sample. They wanted to track the animals for their life and everything. And I'll tell you, it's, we've really simplified it since that. And uh, one thing we've found is that, you know, I think I think in some of this understanding, some of this confusion. So there hasn't been a really large outpouring of you know people in the program, you know, inpouring into the program because. Uh, I think you just don't understand it. So initially, some states limited it to like the first, you know, 10 deer per farm. And then if that used up all the money, that was 50. Then from there, it's a free for all or first come, first serve. And we've had other states that, you know, it was going to be just, you know, $50 or 25. But there's some states, you know, I think my North Dakota, I know Minnesota, they're paying 100% of the $75. So, uh, so every state will be a little bit different depending on your number of animals, how many submit, whatever. But start the process you can tweak it and change it as you go but uh i just encourage everybody the money is there the funding is there there is zero reason not to test your animals hell if you don't want to you look at breeding values you want to just look at markers so be it whatever you know it, it costs the same the test is done if you just you know just to get the parentage end of it you know if you don't want to look at either of those just get the parentage it's paid for it why would you not do it there is zero zero reason not to participate you know and and at the end of the day i think when you sit back and look at it i mean this is a tool it's a new tool we've never had before it's going to take time to get its statistical power and as we keep entering the more animals into it the better you know especially we start looking for these these animals that score really well with really good markers you know and um, that have good pedigrees that are going to really produce i mean I keep hearing that about, well, what happens if I got that animal? It's really, really, it's my best producer, but it's got bad markers or it's got a bad score. 
breed it to a better one. You know, you don't have, nobody says you got to get rid of it. Breed it to a better one. But you don't know that until you test. So please, please, if you, and hey, Josh, by the simplest thing there, anyone that's still confused on this, 651-212-1315. 651-212-1315. I'm a phone call away. You know? Yeah, that's Sean's uh that's Sean's cell phone. So just hit him up. Yeah. Um, gotcha. so just I just want to make this real simple for folks so they understand. So the cooperative agreement dollars are distributed through um or, or from USDA to USDA. your uh state department state. of agriculture's or your regulatory body that submitted the grant, right? Correct. Right. Okay, so that there's could be already, wildlife agency or, you know, for the Texas folks, for instance, or the Alabama folks. There's there's already been many grant sure. projects submitted, approved, and the funds distributed that we can put you in contact with other states that already have that kind of stuff. Co copy, paste, tailor it to your copy, state. paste. Done, right? Submit. If it gets approved, great. You get some dollars for different types of programs. Now, the, the main one, I think we're up to... Uh, six, I think there's six states now that have um, fully funding for um, breeding value testing, uh, right. which is everything that Sean just said. So you get your parentage and everything else, but um, there's six, six states now that are, that are paying for that test. So it's a no brainer. You test your animals.